2033, Blockstone's unpacked a lot of new content added to the game and announced a bunch more unreleased content that has yet to be added. For instance, around January, we got the V4 update, Valentine's event back in February, included the rework of the Love Fruit. Then we got the mini Easter event where fruits that spawn in the game spawn as colored eggs. Then, after quite some time, we got a huge update which involved a new level cap, a new island, two new fruits, a new fighting style, a new sword, and about all the swords we worked, sea exploration, weapon enchant, reworked both weather system fruit reworks and much more finishing up the year of 2023 we got the ghost event for the ghost rework and the halloween event then we had the kids Kung fu update and most recently the winter update part one which enabled a christmas event a subclass and a new mythical t-rex tree we got all of this in the year 2023 and in my eyes that was just a calm before the storm before the more crazy updates to, the, to come in 2024. this video will be closing out 2023 with a look at it, what's still to come and what we can speculate to be introduced for 2024 now let's get on to the point of this video all right before we dive into any of this this recent stuff we're gonna go back to all the way back here back in february when they announced all this stuff to be added over the past few months our development team has expanded and has been working tirelessly behind the scenes to prepare for a wave of massive updates for blockchain we're kind of already started that wave of massive updates we had the uh, kitsune t-rex all like the winter update we had all that in like very consecutive updates towards the end of the year here and as you can see here we got c reworks that are still not added yet so i'm pretty sure this is planned for 2024 then we got the new ui that still needs to be added even more pictures of the c rework and over here we got sword model rework so here we have them talking about the c reworks all data areas that have been rebuilt entirely to match our quality standard a complete interface rework is being worked on which will make navigation and gameplay more intuitive than ever before here we got a picture of what looks to be c2 and this is still not added by the way so this is like i'm pretty sure this is setting up for an update in 2024 maybe early 2024 look at this this is hot and cold here we take a look at the old hot and cold see it doesn't look too bad it looks kind of nice but compared to what we're looking at before here we got the lava side then we got the ice side and if you just compare that to what we're seeing here we got a oh whole God. giant factory of like all these pipes they're connecting to this lava area all outdated abilities will be receiving visual reworks which we already done outdated fruits such as dragon and control also be receiving reworks they truly deserve and we already know that the dragon rework is coming apparently this is a little bit wrong now it's gonna change because this is not coming obviously yet but dragon is coming the dragon rework is on its way and even in game right now if you try to go buy dragon right now it says in progress so the dragon rework is on its way i can't even gift it king of the fruits is temporary off sale for enhancements stay tuned for its powerful return that's insane i can't wait you know how i roll that's my main guy we heard things of dragon but we haven't got any clues of control yet and then more click combat for more fruits and then for all your mobile players i've seen some bugs lately about mobile controls but they have been improving it to make it more viable for you mobile players not only that they're adding an enhancement system i'm pretty sure this is not it's not saying you can upgrade your fruit because this is saying dark blade but you can gather different materials to enhance your weapons oh and then we already got a hint of this this is about the scroll update so this just goes to show that some things are already being implemented but not everything just yet then we got even more pictures this looks like haunted ship hopefully this is haunted ship because when i go to haunted ship it's very dark in there and this just makes it more colorful and still give it that little magi atmosphere you know what i mean then we got the factory pretty sure that's the factory in the second seat this is where the uh ice admiral sits just to compare real quick like this is his room where he sits right now this is what we're getting same for the factory this is getting a massive blow up compared to what we had before much more detailed the environment around it looks way better i'm not sure where exactly this is so i'm not gonna go look for it i think that might be pirate village though in the first seat then if we go to indra's twitter here we got the ghost reword the sea expansion update the kids soon fruit when this is coming out where they're adding sneaks uh to be shown here we got a sneak of a dragon skill because you can obviously tell that they, they have dragon equipped right here this is one of the dragon skills being added this is like covering the entire beginner island and then here you people some people thought this was a uh, dragon some reason 
season. Like, it's a whole different icon. Not only that, but there's still a bunch of unannounced stuff that they even haven't talked about. I can't go over it, but when I see it from behind the scenes, man, like, there's so much to be added. There's so much that they have planned. They have so much stuff being worked on. There's a lot being done to make the next year even greater than what we have now. Like, maybe we'll get a new seat. Maybe we'll get some whole bunch of content that doesn't involve needing a new seat. Something I'd like to see is a quest rework system or maybe new ways of exploring content maybe new ways of exploring getting bounty in the game even more subclasses will improve the game a lot i feel like subclasses like make the game feel more alive like you have a duty you have like a profession kind of and when more of them is introduced it gives the game more of that rpg feel over time like some maybe we can get a, a cooking profession or a cooking uh, subclass but seriously in terms of 2024 i think they're going to be adding of course all new fruits the control rework at some point maybe a new c but first we gotta get the c uh reworks out there i can't wait to see how the c reworks come out because new players will come and join the game and see how much different it is when they maybe first try playing blocks Fruit. it'll basically make it more beginner friendly one thing i hope to see in 2024 is maybe more things you could do to like progress your own character like for instance with the ship right uh the subclass i'd love to add be able to progress more on that so i can do better maybe repair books faster or maybe with different subclasses i could swap between them to make the game feel easier for me like imagine you're you had like a some kind of treasure hunting subclass and you're just always exploring the sea always hunting certain npcs for materials and you had bonus luck towards getting materials that you needed for upgrading your weapons can you imagine that and who knows maybe they're gonna add a new sea maybe they'll add something that makes a whole new zone for each uh sea who knows there's a lot to speculate what block Switch could be adding to the game because there's so much you could add to just make the game perfect than it is instead of yapping i'm gonna just explain what i hope Hope comes to the game for me um 2024 i hope to see very very delicious looking dragon fruit to come back in 2024 best rework we've ever seen then hopefully news about the control rework and i would love to see the c reworks for first and second c of course like people are gonna miss the nostalgia or like um the first and second c how it used to look kind of similar to how like people reminisce about the old blocks fruit models i don't know why you guys do i mean they're literally just spheres colors and stripes but not only that i really want to see dragon talent rework where is it indra where is it i need to have it in my arsenal will you keep adding these better and stronger better looking fighting styles like sanguine art or whatever's to come then it makes me lose my mind because look dragon talent could be so much better where's dragon talent v2 now on a real note i really want to see more gameplay added to the game just basically more content you could explore more content you can grind for i wouldn't say super grindy but like more it's fun to play with friends when you do it sea exploration already does that i think it's fun plus you're doing a two, uh you're tackling two things at once you're getting the materials you need for that op leviathan shield and grinding with friends for i don't know how long but it'll be kind of fun at least when i when i did it with some friends but in all that's really what i'm thinking there's still a lot of stuff they announced for 2024 that we haven't gotten yet the control rework that's coming they just haven't talked too much about it like look at this this you see this actually it's not too bad i like this mechanic i like how that looks like how it chops up but like it still deserves a rework because control right now is like the number one hardest fruit to grind mastery what do you guys think is coming in next year i'm positive there's a lot of unannounced stuff they have for block fruits that they haven't even gone over but in terms of what they did announce i'm really looking forward to all that stuff but what about you let me know all right that's enough of me yapping bro to sum it up expect lots for block fruits in 2024 and be prepared i hope you guys had an amazing year you all made my year surely awesome and i can't wait for the next year when i'm doing bigger and better things for you guys make sure to set some nice and achievable new year resolutions for yourself and work hard this year to achieve them i'll see y'all in the new year thank you for watching bye